हाइड्रोजन सो हाइड्रोजन इज टू ऑक्सीजन इमेंट इक्वल टू वन इज टू एट बाय मास और वेट ऑफ मास सपोज यू हैव लिटल मोर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन से यू हैव टेन ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड वन ग्राम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इन क्लोज Let it to combine by some method. Then you will see that one gram of hydrogen combines with eight gram of oxygen, and the excess of oxygen remains as it is on the line. It doesn't combine at any proportion. It is left. Whatever is excess remains uncombined. Left.
So life obtained from livestock also show the same definite proportion of 2 is to 5 in taking calcium and oxygen without fail. So irrespective of the method of obtaining the compound, the constituents of the compounds remain always in the definite fixed proportion in, in with respect to mass. Now Dalton, a British scientist, devised atomic theory by studying all these facts, investigated till now. Dalton was born in 1766. At the age of only 12 years, Dalton became a teacher in the school. He was very intelligent and smart, very active and working very hard. After just seven years, that is, at the age of 19 years, he became the principal of a college. You can imagine how at a very young age he qualified to a fantastic level. That is only because of hard struggle and hard work. In 1808, he devised the atomic theory. He postulated the atomic theory in 1808. Postulates of Dalton's atomic theory. Now, what is meant by postulate? Postulate. Postulate is a fact about something. Fundamental fact. The fact that cannot be disproved. The fact that cannot be proved wrong. It remains true in all cases. It is called a postulate, the fundamental truth. And surprisingly, it cannot be proved to be true also, but it remains true in all cases. The fact which remains true in all cases, but cannot be proved to be true. The fact which never fails, the fact which cannot be disproved, is called a postulate. Thus, postulates are the facts that remain true in all cases. A postulate cannot be disproved or cannot be proved to be untrue or false. It remains true in all cases. But it cannot be proved to be true. It remains true in all its applications. But if we go proving true, it is difficult to give the proof. It shows all properties of truth. Postulates. First postulates. All matter is composed of made up of very small particles or atoms. The, the Greek name divided, given by Lavoisier and Krauss. Atoms. These atoms take part in chemical reactions. All atoms often are indivisible particles which are can be, which can neither be created nor destroyed. 
This postulate shows the conservation of matter or mass. Third postulate, atoms of particles, particular element, remains are all identical. For an element, all atoms are identical in all respects of mass properties, chemical properties, in every respect. Atoms of different elements differ in properties and masses. Atom of hydrogen is different from atom of oxygen in properties and masses. One atom of hydrogen is 16 times lighter than one atom of oxygen. So one atom of oxygen is 16 times heavier than one atom of hydrogen. But all atoms of hydrogen are identical. All atoms of oxygen are identical. Thus, if the atoms are identical, then the mass composed of all these atoms is nothing but the element. Atoms take part in chemical reactions. Atoms of particular elements are all identical. Atoms of different elements are different properties. Atoms combine in ratios of small whole numbers because atoms cannot be divided. Fractional atoms cannot take part in any chemical reaction. Atoms are like individuals. There cannot exist three and a half person in the world. As individuals exist in integral number, so atoms also exist in integral numbers. Whole numbers of atoms combined with the whole numbers of other atoms to form the combined form of another compound. Perhaps in a compound there may exist two atoms of one element and three atoms of another element. But they are they combine in whole numbers. Simple numbers. It shows the ratio of Dixit proportion, law of constant proportion. In a given compound, the proportion of numbers of atoms and its kind is definite. Suppose we take water, the types of atoms in water remain the same, oxygen, hydrogen, or no other element. Remain the same, oxygen, hydrogen, and oxygen as 1 is to 8. So type of elements and ratio of the number of atoms or masses remains the same. One atom of hydrogen combines two atoms of hydrogen combine one atom of oxygen. That is one atom of oxygen always combines two atoms of hydrogen. But because oxygen is 16 times higher, heavier than hydrogen, by mass it combines with hydrogen and hydrogen to oxygen for one is to eight part. So one atom of hydrogen combines with two atoms of one atom of oxygen combines with two atoms of hydrogen that is H2O. So two is to sixteen that is one is to eight. Similarly, one atom of carbon combines with one atom of oxygen. Now, carbon is heavier than oxygen 12, than hydrogen 12 times. Oxygen is heavier than hydrogen 16 times. That is, one atom that is 12 times heavier than hydrogen combines with two atoms of oxygen that is 16 plus 16 that is 32 times heavier than hydrogen 12 is to 32 is equal to 3 is to 8 so always one atom of carbon combines with two atoms of oxygen to form carbon 
dioxide. Similarly, in the case of calcium. One atom of calcium combines one atom of oxygen to form one molecule of calcium oxide compound. Calcium is 40 times heavier than hydrogen. Oxygen is 60 times heavier than hydrogen. So, 40 is to 16. Yes, students. Here we start with the list. 